My name is Everett Lipke. I live at Ellettsville. Uh, in fact, my parents and I built what is now the Jiffy Tree at Ellettsville in 1949 when I was just got out of the Navy. Unfortunately, she passed away. My mother did uh, three years later, so we eventually sold it to the people that have it now. My brother went to school at Purdue. Lafayette, and we would go up to see him occasionally. And uh, my mother, when we'd go to see him, she would always want to go to what's called Columbia Park in Lafayette. And they had a frozen custard drive-in there. And she just thought that was the greatest thing in the world. So we did a little research and uh, eventually decided, to, with her insistence, we decided to go ahead with it. And we lived on Highway 46 over toward Ellettsville, and uh, she convinced my dad, so we decided we would go through with that venture. Now this was 1949, I remember. And uh, so we started building the building. Well, I thought I could be uh, used there, so I started laying the concrete blocks. When I got the concrete blocks up about 30 inches above the ground, my dad said, I think we better get somebody else to finish this. <laughs> And so we did, and we opened up, uh, it was in June of 1949, and uh, we called it the Frozen Custard Drive-In, because it was frozen custard. And as far as I know, and I, don't, I can't swear to this because it's been so long, but I think the lemon custard that they have out there now is my mother's recipe. And that's been 60-some years. And uh, so after she passed away, I ran it for three or four years. Then we leased it to her three times, and then we sold it to a fellow from Ellettsville, and he built onto it, operated a few years, and then he sold it to a lady from Bedford, I don't remember her name, but she's the one that came up with the title of Jiffy Tree. And then she operated it for a few years and sold it to the people who have it now. If you like ice cream, it is, you know, it's an ice cream recipe, and uh, Actually, we had the first soft ice cream store south of Indianapolis. There wasn't, there wasn't any frozen custard drive-ins in this part of the country. Yeah. And uh, so she had, had that recipe for homemade ice cream, the lemon. So we had that, and we had three, three uh, flavors, strawberry, or no, excuse me, vanilla, um, chocolate, and lemon. And Lemon was by far our biggest seller. And of course the building was small then and the people that own it now, they built onto it just a couple years ago, I guess. And they, and now then they have, I think, there's one in Linton, one in Bedford, and I think about five here in Bloomington. Uh, so it has done very well. Sometimes I think I should have held on to it. <laughs> in 1952, I bought a book how to build your dream home for $3,500. It wasn't true even in those days, <laughs> but I still live there. But my story is about my wife, who was a home ec teacher, and she was a very good cook, and we gave our children, we had three children, we gave them the choice of what they would like for lunch or dinner on their birthday. And they chose unanimously chicken tetrazzini. And uh, I don't know how this came about, but the Bloomington paper put a, a large item in the paper about her, and she was serving, the picture shows her serving me and the kids the chicken tetrazzini. And uh, she gave the recipe in there. I don't remember the recipe now, but, uh, uh, but it was very good, and it went on until they were in high school, and some beyond, and so, as a consequence, my children ate well, and I did too, really, during all those years. She taught, and her sister was in a 4-H program. And by the way, my family gives scholarships to 4-H members who apply for them uh, and are voted on every year. We've been doing this for 10 years now. And of course, 4-H is, they have cooking school. Maybe I should tell you the time that I baked a, a cake to put in to the 
to the fair is a coffee cake. Well, it said put in a cup of coffee, but it didn't say to brew it first. <laughs> so my mother wouldn't let me take it to the fair. <laughs> well, I'll just tell you, I'm 83. I was talking to a couple of fellas the other day. We had lunch, and then as we walked out of the restaurant, we just stopped to talk a little longer. I said, I want to tell you guys something. Now, one of these men was 89 years old, and the other one was, was 86, I think it is. I said, no walkers, no canes, no wheelchairs. I said, we've all got our keys in our hand. We're going to drive home. Now, to think how lucky we are at our age to be able to do that. And if I get out of here in time, and it's not too, too, uh, well, I plan playing golf. <laughs> Usually, we like we'll start playing golf about nine or ten o'clock in the morning. Then we'll go to a restaurant when we're finished, and maybe some of us go, maybe some, maybe not, maybe just me. But we usually have two or three of us go and have lunch somewhere. <laughs>